Twins taking on the Royals. Samuel Deduno making his third start of the season and 18th of his big league career. Scoreless in the fourth, Ryan Domit leading off the inning against Luis Mendoza. A drive to right center field. Up and back and gone and a tremendous at bat for Ryan Domit. Seventh of the year for Domit, one nothing Twins. Next batter, Chris Parmalee, bloops one into left field. Parmalee tries to go for two. Alex Gordon comes up firing, and he throws a strike to Elliott Johnson, who slaps the tag on Parmalee for the out. Take another look. Nice throw by Gordon, and Johnson with a nice sweeping tag. Top of the fifth, Twins with a man on second and one out. Josh Willingham sends one into left. Joe Maurer scores from second on the play, and the Twins take a 2-0 lead. Two batters later, now two men on for Domit. To center field and just out of the reach of Escobar. Willingham coming home and Domit drives in another run. Three nothing twins, bottom of the fifth. One on, one out, Duduno gets Alex Gordon to line into the 4-3 double play to end the inning. Then in the sixth, Alcides Escobar with a liner into center. Aaron Hicks coming on and he makes the nice sliding grab. Duduno loving the help from his defense. Take another look at the nifty grab by Hicks. And Duduno would finish out the inning strong. He gets Eric Hosmer swinging. And then he catches Billy Butler looking to end the frame. Duduno goes six, allowing four hits, no runs, with five strikeouts. As the Twins go on to win three to nothing, Glenn Perkins threw a perfect ninth for his 12th save of the year. The Royals' loss is their 11th in a row at home, which matches the franchise record for most consecutive home losses. The Royals previously lost 11 straight home games from September 2011 going into April 2012.